How to fix a kitchen tap. A failed dripping kitchen tap can be incredibly annoying and a waste of water. But fixing a tap is surprisingly easy. But always check with the manufacturer's instructions in case your particular tap is different. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Before starting, it's a good idea to understand what you're up against. If water is leaking from the spout, you probably need to replace the washer. If from beneath the handle, then the O-ring will need replacing. Before you start, make sure you turn the water off at the supply. Do this in accordance with your water supply and heating system. Then, release the pressure in the pipes by opening the tap and draining off the water. It's also a smart idea to put the plug into the sink to stop any small parts falling down the plug hole. There are generally two types of tap you might come across, and we'll deal with each of these in this video. A compression valve is a mechanical device inside the tap that controls the water flow. In this style of tap, a rubber washer at the base of the valve forms a seal to stop water flow. If this washer wears away, then drips can occur. To repair, remove the handle. You might need to remove the handle cap first to access the screw. Then remove the handle to expose the valve. Now unscrew the cover. Using an adjustable spanner, unscrew the valve and remove. Use a screwdriver to remove the washer and replace. Finally, screw back in the valve and tap handle. Ceramic valve taps use ceramic discs rather than washers. Remove the handle cap to expose the valve. Unscrew the valve using an adjustable spanner. Lift out the ceramic disc valve and check. Clean it or replace it if it's worn. Replace the valve, then screw in place and fit the handle. Leaks from beneath the spout mean the O-ring will need replacing. O-rings are small circles of rubber that form the seal at the base of the spout. To replace the O-ring in the spout, loosen the nut holding the tap to the sink from below using a box spanner. Rotate the tap to get access and remove the grub screw at the back of the spout. Lift the spout out. The O-ring is at the base of the spout. Prise the ring off using a screwdriver. And replace. When replacing the spout, align the marker on the spout with the groove in the tap body. Then tighten the grub screw at the back and the nut holding the tap to the sink. If the O-ring is damaged or worn, it will need replacing. To replace the O-ring in the valve itself, use the technique previously explained to remove the valve depending on the kind of tap. Replace the O-ring and rebuild the tap as before. Using these simple techniques, a dripping tap should be a thing of the past. Here is a list of the tools you will need to fix your kitchen tap, depending on the method you use. And here's the materials you will use. 